Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel. This is the old gunsmith speaking at you one time again. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today, rather than talk about a specific job, why when you walk into your local gunsmith shop with your daddy's squirrel rifle, <laughs> and you say, you know, well, your grandpa's squirrel rifle say, but well, I found this, I found this in the old barn. And it was Grandpa's, and I can remember when I was a little boy, he taught me to shoot with this gun. And, you know, it's a family heirloom, and we'd really like to, like to have it made like new again. Can you do that job? Well, the truth of the matter is, yes, we can do that job. The question is whether you want to pay to have that job done. How much is that worth to you? I can go to a uh, gun show and probably buy this gun for 100 bucks. Yeah, what do you 100, think? 100, yeah, $100, $150. $150 at a gun yeah, show. This is in, maybe 175 Yeah, this is this is in the Midwest where, where we live. And it might be more or less depending on where you live. But it's just a 22 bolt action, clip fed, Glenfield Model 20. Uh, it's got the little squirrel on it. And, uh, you know, they were sold in hardware stores and big box stores. And... It's, it's nothing special. It's got a plastic trigger guard. You know, it's, it, it's nothing special. So you figure that it's an inexpensive gun. It shouldn't ta take much money to restore it. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Yeah, you know, I, I just bought, you know, I got this. You know, it doesn't fire. I think the firing pin's broke. Um, the crown looks a little rough. You know, how much are you going to charge me to do the fire? Exactly. You know, maybe just do the clean it up a little bit, do the firing pin and, and the crown. And when I look at this, and if I go to something like Brownells every year they do a shop price survey now if I just go by this okay just to, to recut the crown on the barrel so all I'm going to do is I'm going to recut this crown so it's nice and and smooth if I go in here and I look for what it would what my shop price should be I look under general barrel action and rifle work I come down here to uh, Cut and crown barrel, rifles and shotguns, handguns. Minimum $35, maximum $95. Now, if you've seen our video on recrowning the Tukarev barrel, you saw it took us five minutes. $35 to $95 for a five minute job. That's one job that's going to come to anywhere from a quarter to the price you paid for this right, yeah. rifle. It, it seems it, just crazy. And if it's a tool that maybe he doesn't have, or maybe he's got it, but he's never heard to use it on anything, mm -hmm. you know, just the single, was that single caliber This, this is a single caliber set that I would buy to do that job. This single caliber set would cost me over $50. $50 bucks just for this little single set. Now, if I'm in business... And I want to be able to cover any rifle that comes in. I would get a full set like this one. And I've turned some extra uh, bore guides for this one. So I'm overstating my case here. But if I'm going to be in this business. And I'm going to uh, buy the set that will cover all the pistol and all the rifle calories. It should cover most everything you come that, across. Until you get into the muzzle loading yeah. and, and, yeah, and the oddball stuff. Some. And that's why I've had to cut some. If I go into the latest Brownell catalog and I look for that. And I've probably lost that page now. That's well done, Paul. I think it was, what, $499? $499.99. That's a $500 I got in that. Yep. Yeah. So even at $95, i got to do six of them just to pay for my tools. I haven't made a profit. I haven't paid myself. I haven't paid the electric bill. I haven't paid the rent. All I've done, if I do five jobs with this kit, is pay for the cost of the tools. Same thing with the drill set. A complete drill set with all the drills you need, from, from the tiniest number 60 up to the half inch, and every size in between. And these are the quality bits if you're gonna for the price we're gonna. Put. That's right. Uh, I, I once again I go into the uh, the Brownells catalog and I've got a five hundred dollar bill for that set. Now I've talked earlier about ways to get around it in one of our other videos. Yes. You can go to Harbor Freight. You can buy this particular set, and this set is from Harbor Freight. Uh, that is titanium nitride coated, made in China. 
if you don't aren't too much against getting something made in China, the difference is this set cost me sixty dollars. The American made set would cost me five hundred dollars. So what did I do? I bought a sixty dollar set and the drills are not as good, they're not as hard. You but may get one or two holes out of it. I may only get a, a couple of holes out of it. But and the important part is but if I'm working on your gun and I don't have a drill of the right size, I gotta put your gun aside until I can get into town and buy one. So what do I do? I use the drill that came with this set, I get a hole. I get the hole I need right now to get your job done. And when I break it or dull it, I go to Brownell's catalog and I spend a couple of bucks for an American made replacement. So if you look in here, you will see all these gold bits and then every once in a while you'll see a blue one. The blue ones are the ones that I've had to replace. And you see all the so smaller sizes, almost all of them have been replaced. In the bigger ones, not so much. You know, in, 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 a bigger, in a bigger shop, you know, he, it's worth it to him to buy the $500 kit um, so he can get multiple holes out of, out of the bits. Yeah, I'm not buying it just for this rifle. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is the reason that gunsmithing is so expensive is that i got a $1,000 in here, and all I've got are some drill bits and chamfering yeah. set. I can do a couple of jobs. I and can drill much? holes, and I can, and I can chamfer muzzles. Yeah. And how much was the, uh, the super set for the screwdrivers? A hundred? Uh, yeah, 125, 100, if I can remember. Okay, uh, if we go to the Brownell super set, the, the one in the package is now $130, $129.99. For, for screws, screwdrivers. screwdrivers. Just for, uh, one screwdriver handle and the 58 bits that will fit 99.9% .9 of all the gun screws you're going to come across. So now we've got three tools mm -hmm. and we've got eleven, twelve hundred dollars in, into this already. So somehow the guy's got to pay rent. He's got to put food on his table. Mm -hmm. And you're going to look at a job and say, man, that's a five-minute job. How come it's so expensive? That's why it's so expensive. Rent is not cheap. Kids like to eat. You can't send them to school without clothes. You know, <laughs> if somebody came in here, you know, I want to restore this rifle to, to like new, just like Grandpappy had it. Okay, for example, now I'm going to, to redo, just to recrown the barrel, we're talking, let's go at the bottom end, and so I'm talking 30 bucks. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's 30 bucks. Then I'm going to strip and refinish the stock. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, buff out and refinish the uh, uh, the bluing on the rifle to get rid of all the pits and the, um, uh, the rust, and, the the rust uh, and get the back to a smooth surface and polish it. Maybe buy some parts for it, either a firing pin or maybe it's got the wrong screw in it. You know, it has and if it doesn't, and if it doesn't have, and if the firing pin is no longer available. Then I have to make one. I got to go to the lathe and I got to turn one out. There's my shop prices. Okay. Uh, let's look at um, service charges per man hour. So we're talking to charge $40 to $80 an hour per man hour or part thereof. Okay. Uh, if I'm using a machine, I've got to get, have machine time. We're talking to $50 to $95 an hour. Yeah, that might you know, take you about an hour or two to make a firing yep. pin. If it's not available, a minimum charge per gun thirty-five to seventy dollars, just to look at it. I know this is hard for for you to justify in your head, but from a business point of view, if the guy doesn't do this, the next time you need him, he won't be there because he'll be out of business. He's got so much invested in tooling. Without talking about his education. And as we said before, the overhead. Mm -hmm. uh, if he's not charging these prices, as I said, this is a shop survey. They go through and uh, talk to uh, successful shops around the country. And they do it every year. And they ask them what their shop prices are. And that's how they put this together as a guide for both what the new gunsmith should think about uh, charging to be successful. Or for you to uh, have an understanding of what you're probably going to be charged for a job. So we're going to come in here and we talk about uh, metal finishing and for to reblue this gun you're talking about a hundred bucks, hundred to hundred and fifty bucks, for me to take this down, polish it all out, set up my bluing tanks and reblue it. So there's the price of the gun.
Mm -hmm. Just to put a new blue job on new it. New blue job with a crown, you're you're the price of the gun. You're the price of the gun. And uh, if you're uh, looking at uh, a rust blue or a Belgian bluing, you're talking about 165 to 200 because it's much more labor intensive. It takes a lot more time. Okay. Uh, so now all we've done is we've blued the barrel and we've recrowned the barrel. We still have to do the stock work. So let's see if we got stock work on here. Wood finishing. This is now. This does not include any shaping. Just a hunter fi finish. Strip this down. Sand it. Get the bumps out of it. Uh, stain it and refinish it. Just a hunter finish. Ninety to one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so you're already two hundred dollars into the two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. into this gun. Just for that, you haven't. All you've done is redone the stock, uh, redone the barrel, recrown the barrel, and that should give you a nice looking piece. Assuming that the bore is good, mm -hmm. if I have to drill and reline it and put a new liner in it because the bore has been uh, eaten sitting out. out in the barn, and yeah, it's if all it came out of the barn and it's all rusted up and and pitted and won't shoot, then I've got to talk about uh, doing a uh, putting a. Um, yeah, installing uh, what sleeve? Yeah, a liner, relining the barrel. Reline the barrel. Uh, so what do we have here for safeties, triggers, cut and crown barrel, lap barrel? I don't see that they've got lining the barrel in here. It must be here someplace. Install the barrel liner, not including the cost of the liner, just the labor. Just the labor. For me to put a barrel liner in this, minimum seventy-five bucks. Maximum two twenty-five, depending yeah. on where you live. Plus the uh, the cost. Plus of the, the cost of the part, which is uh, a twenty-two barrel liner, is going to be right around fifty bucks. So figure uh, one hundred and twenty-five dollars minimum. So now we've got what, five, three times, four times, five, five six hundred dollars into yeah. Grandpappy's gun. So yeah. You know, you can give it back to him and so, he can shoot it. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna come into me with a gun that's worth one hundred and fifty bucks, and if you take it in to trade it in, the dealer's going to look at it and he might offer you fifty bucks for it. He might offer you seventy-five if it's refinished, mm -hmm. but you're going to put five or six hundred dollars into it to refinish it. You'll be pissed at the gunsmith. But once again, if he doesn't do that, he will not be in business the next time that you come by because he can't cover the, his cost of tools and his cost of overhead. Mm -hmm. It is an expensive business to be in, and what you're paying for is his knowledge. Yep. I mean, if you could do it yourself, you would, wouldn't you? If you can do it yourself and you're going to pay somebody to do it, you're talking about paying a craftsman and he's going to be worth what it costs. Mm -hmm. But just you know, weighing, weighing whether it's worth restoring grandpa's old rifle. And for mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, that's at sentimental value. You and, might you know, just want to... $600 is worth it. Uh, for, you know, a working guy with kids and stuff, you know, that's a lot of money to, to try to put into a right. rifle. I mean, and it depends on what it is. Obviously, if he came in with a with a uh, Parker A1 Special, that would cost thousands and thousands of dollars to buy a, a replacement. Yeah, or you know, something like this. Something like this. This is a Winchester 95, in great old lever action in 3040 Craig. Everything's there. It works. There's nothing wrong with it except it's beat up and old. And all the finish is gone. Now, if you're going to bring this into me and say, you know, Pappy uh, won the West with this gun. <laughs> <laughs> he had it in the covered wagon in 1896 yeah, when he came to the territory. When he came to the territory. Uh, and I want to restore this gun. It's not going to cost you very much more than this one because we're going to do the same work. Yeah. Now, if there's parts and things in, included, it, of course, it'll be more. But you're talking a minimum of five, six hundred dollars. It's just the the reality of the economy, and it's just not going to be less. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, would it be worth more if you restored that? Just depending on the gun, you know. Well, not Tina. Not only the gun. It depends on who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. You have gun snubs. Excuse me, but gun collectors are gun snobs, and they would rather have the gun this way than refinished. They will pay you more for this gun just like this than they will if it's refinished. Because once it's refinished, as far as they're concerned, it's lost all its value, mm -hmm. and it's lost it's all its history. It's no longer original. It's no longer original. They pay more for originals. 
What's it worth to you is what's important. Is it your grandfather's? Does it mean a lot to you? Are you willing to put $500 in a gun to make it look new again like it was when Grandpa bought it? Mm -hmm. We can do that, but we can't do that for 100 bucks. And that's just the reality of the situation. Yep. Okay? All right. So this is 45 Bubble Charlie Papa Channel. And it's good to see you guys again. I always enjoy visiting with you and, and giving you some advice and telling you what's going on in the industry. And happy trails. Happy trails to you. You're not going to sing with me? No, Until gonna we meet <laughs> again. Happy <laughs> trails to you. Keep <laughs> smiling until then. Hey, I got him to sing, man. That's never happened before. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.